frustrated homeowners in St. Louis Park are getting a better idea tonight about how much help the city will give them. This after two destructive water main breaks in the same neighborhood. Fox 9's Mary McGuire joining us live from St. Louis Park with more details on this evolving story. Mary. Well, Randy and Amy, after two water main breaks over the course of just two weeks here in St. Louis Park, residents are learning more about how and when they will get reimbursed for cleaning up big messes in their basements. I'm traumatized over wondering when it's going to happen next. The last few weeks have been like a terrible nightmare for St. Louis Park residents in the Texatonka neighborhood, like Teresa. Can't afford to move and I can't afford to fix it up. Late last month, a massive water main break flooded nearly 60 houses with more than a foot of sewage water. Two weeks later, it happened again, impacting more than 20 homes, some of the same ones that were hit the first time around. It's going to be the initial cleanup, it's going to be the reconstruction costs, and it's going to be your personal property damage. On Wednesday night at a community meeting, homeowners asked some tough questions about the three-step process laid out to reimburse them for cleanup and replacement costs. So would that mean that some of us have to file claims and ding up our homeowners insurance while others do not since they don't have coverage anyways? Earlier this week, City Council approved a plan for impacted residents, which totals $100,000, up to $40,000 from the city's insurance coverage and up to $60,000 from the city. Homeowners hit by both water main breaks may receive more. The insurance company says they hope to get out money as soon as possible to people, but the city has a target date of August 1st. 20K, even if they cut it today, I'm still out of pocket $32,000. That timeline just isn't fast enough for Dini Lalos, who had just replaced his furnace, water heater, and washer dryer when his basement was flooded for a second time on Saturday. We want to get these dollars out as quickly as we possibly can. We want to help you. Now it's kind of a very slow moving process. Now, a representative from the city tells me over the coming weeks they will have discussions about whether or not they should replace that water main break that broke, the water main that broke twice. Uh, the cost of a project like that will range between three and four million dollars. Reporting live in St. Louis Park, Mary McGuire, Fox 9.